In this Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you how to mirror and symmetrize your sculpts so that they can look the exact same on both sides. So I just added a subdivided sphere here and I'm going to use that for the sculpting. So I'm going to click right over here on the sculpting tab and that is going to take me to the sculpting layout. Also over here on the layout, you could also click on this button and change it from object mode to sculpt mode, but I'm going to go over to the sculpting layout. So normally when you just start to sculpt, you can see that it's not symmetrizing your sculpt. And this can be really frustrating if you're sculpting something really detailed and then you kind of look over here and you can see that it's not mirroring it over to the other side. So to turn on the mirror or the symmetry, the settings are right up here in Blender Sculpt Mode. And also right down here on the side panel, if you're right here in the Active Tool and Workspace settings in the Sculpt Mode, if you scroll down, you can see that there is a symmetry right here. So you can access the settings right here or you can also access the settings right up here. So let's just first click on the X one. So when you click on the X one, it's going to mirror it over by the x-axis. So now if you move your mouse around you can see there is another blue dot right there. And if I start to sculpt you can see now it's mirroring it from one side to the other. Now I can also do that for the y-axis and that's going to mirror it over by the y-axis. So you can see this is the x-axis, this is the y-axis, and then if I wanted to mirror it on the z-axis as well I could click on the z and now if I sculpt you can see there are eight different places that it's being sculpted because it's mirroring it over by all three axes. Now for most things that you're going to do, for things like a human or a character, you're probably just going to want to turn on the x-axis, but not the y and the z. So I'm just going to leave the x-axis turned on, and now when I start to draw here, you can see that is working like a face. So I could maybe, you know, sculpt a nose and sculpt a mouth. I normally use my drawing tablet for sculpting, but in this case, I'm just using a mouse for the demonstration. So this mirroring feature is very useful, but let's say you forgot to turn it on, or maybe for some reason it got turned off, and you've been sculpting for a little while and you've made some progress, but then when you look over to the other side, you can see that it hasn't mirrored over to the other side. Well, that is where the symmetrize comes in. So what you can do is you can actually tell Blender to mirror one side over to the other side. So to do that, you're just going to click right here and you can see that there are some settings here. And these settings are also right down here if you want to use them down here as well. I just usually use them up here. So I'm going to click on this button and go right down here and it's going to give you some direction settings. So it's going to ask you where you want to symmetrize. It. And it also has a bunch of different combinations. In this case, I believe I want to do the negative x to positive x. So let's click on that and then you're going to click on symmetrize. And you can see that that was correct. That's what we wanted. So this was the negative x and then this was the positive x. So it took all this data and it copied it and then it mirrored it right over here. And then really important after you've symmetrized your sculpt, just make sure you turn on the correct axis. So for me, it's the x axis. And now you can see that if I start to add eyebrows here, it's going to mirror that. So the Symmetrize feature is a really great tool if you want to mirror some of your geometry over to the other axis. All right, so that is it. That is how you turn on the mirror option and also how to Symmetrize your sculpts. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to watch more of my Blender sculpting tutorials, then you can check out my sculpting tutorial playlist. I'll have the link in the description and I'll also throw it right up there on the end screen. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you in a future tutorial.